Hello, it's Ryan here for Silly Reviews. This is an exciting day and I'm excited to share this video with you. Here's what's going on. If you have iTunes crashing on startup, so if your iTunes crashes on startup, like a few seconds after it starts running, and you run Windows 7 or Windows 8, Windows 8.1, I have the answer for you. It's taken me years to figure this out. Here's the deal. I go to open iTunes. I need to manage files on my iPhone. Can't do it. iTunes crashes, so I'm constantly going on the interweb. And I'm looking, and I'm looking for what's the latest, the best version release of iTunes for Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. And it is an, it's a version 12 of iTunes, 12 point something or another. Never works. Doesn't work on two laptops that have Windows 8 and 8.1. Doesn't work on this computer, which is Windows 7 something. Service Pack something, I believe. Maybe I should update one day. I don't know. I'm stubborn. But here's, here's the fix for it. So check this out, you guys. Look at the bottom there. We're going to turn on Wi-Fi. Make sure I'm connected to the internet. We're going to load up iTunes. Oh, you know what? I already set it. So I need to show you how to fix it. Oh, no, there it is. iTunes stopped working. That's really interesting. We'll talk a bit more about that. But here's the fix. So the fix is when this is connected to the Internet, it will crash because it's trying to find an update. And it will find an update because this is iTunes 12 running on Windows 7. Yeah, it's going to find an update, but it makes it crash. There's no getting around that until I turned off my Wi-Fi. Then when I opened up iTunes, it was fine. So the permanent fix for that was supposed to be to go in and in your settings, stop it from automatically checking for updates. And I also stopped it from submitting diagnosis or uh, diagnostics information. So now I'm really curious why it's not working. So we're going to go ahead, hit disconnect. Now it will load fine. But like I said, changing that setting, changing that setting for it to automatically check for updates should have prevented that crash you just saw. Don't make a fool out of me. Let's see. Edit. Preferences. Go to advanced. Look down here. This is interesting because it, they're off. Not checking for new software updates. And we're not sending diagnostics. So... Now I'm really curious what else there could be. So I can connect my phone to this without being connected to the internet. But if I do connect to the internet, it's going to crash. Do I need to be able to log into iTunes to manage things on my iPhone? That's a great question. Maybe we'll walk this through together. It's been so long because it's been years that I've dealt with this. I don't want the I don't want the phone to automatically start syncing and downloading everything from the phone to my computer. That's too much. That's 120 gigs, give or take. And I remember I used to always turn that off. Uh, devices. Prevent. Yeah, prevent them from syncing automatically. That's good. Man, so why is it when the internet came back on, this crashed? What if we reset warnings, reset the cache or cache, reset podcast identifier? Sure, let's press that. I don't know what else we could do. So while it's open and running, let's go ahead and turn the internet back on and see if it's the internet being on is going to crash it again. And if it does, I'm back to square one unless I can manage my phone. We're connected to the internet and it's not doing anything. So that could be a good thing. But I would like to, there it is, stopped. Oh, this is not good. May anybody who knows how to get further than this, please leave a comment and let me know. This is like a partial fix. I thought this was going to be the ultimate fix to help other people in a situation just like I'm in. Let's disconnect from the internet. Let's load iTunes up again. Let's see if we can manage the phone. 
Let's see if we can manage the phone. We're going to plug the phone in after iTunes starts. So can't connect to the store. That's fine. I'm not looking to purchase anything. Is the problem when I hit library? Yeah, there, there's the problem. Can't hit library. Okay, can I manage my phone? Any, can I plug the phone in where it is? Some issue with library. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? Last resort, I'll uninstall and reinstall iTunes one final time. Let's see if I can manage my phone without pressing anything. I'm gonna unlock the phone. Just plugged it in. Yeah, we know this part already. I don't want the update. Download iCloud. I don't want that. So I'll need to log in. We are connected to the internet now because now we're uh, we're hotspotting off my phone. So let me log in. I don't even know my login by heart. So let's see. Okay, I did know my login, which is great. We need to get this super special code here. Whenever they decide to send that, I haven't gotten it yet. Come on. This is, so this video was cut up. You're not getting an idea of how long I'm trying to deal with trying to get this code. I'm not getting anything pushed to my phone, which just doesn't make any sense. So what happens if I didn't receive a verification code? You know, nothing can go right. Oh, wow. That phone number's out of date. So I would need to update my trusted number, but let's try to send a new code. Hey, I got it this time. All right. Let's allow it. Let's move forward. Got the code, you guys. Here we go. All right. The code worked. The code worked. Need to log in again. Come on. All right. Will you let me log in this time? So, so now what is the problem here? Always something, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So it seems like we're on an endless loop. So while I was able to get into or to keep iTunes open, at this point, even with getting the push notification, my credentials are correct. I can't log in. So now I'm stuck. And then iTunes stops working when I try to view the phone. Okay, this is a little bit of progress. If anyone can help further along here, please do. Ryan here, still the reviews. Thanks for watching. <laughs>